in your face. It's the way that you go to somebody. You got to go to him. The Bible said in a gentle, in a meek, in a kind way. God Almighty, help me, Lord. Sometimes we go to people in the wrong way. Because we feel like we, we, we're somebody. We're so important. Uh -huh. In other words, we're so important and, and, and I know I can do this. I can go to him. But it still don't make it right. Man. You have to go to him as a godly person, a spiritual person. If Paul points it out, say, any spiritual people in your group, if he done wrong, any spiritual people in your group, consider yourself. But you have to go to him in a spirit. If spiritual people, they're supposed to, they're supposed to watch it. They're supposed to be so kind. They're supposed to be God's man, God's lady. Amen. They just want to be a representant, patient. They want to be a representation of God. In, in other words, I represent God. I represent Him in everything, my speech, my actions, and this would not be pleasing unto God if I go to talking about Him and putting His name all in the street, going to every church and and just trying to find somebody to call Him on the phone. So you did you hear about this? Uh huh. Did you hear about brother? You hear about him, sister? And that wouldn't be right. Amen. And I, I and and George said something. He said, when he do wrong, he said immediately. He has to go to repent. That's good. He got he got God and fear. God that represents fear in him. But anytime because he represents he represents God, he said, I'm not I'm not perfect. Uh -huh. See, represent referential fear means that you fear God to the enough that we if you do wrong, David did wrong and he went to God. He went to God, and the Bible says David was a man after God's own heart. Amen. He repented so many times. Uh -huh. So many times we do wrong, and we feel like nobody don't know it. And But you can go, and you don't have to do it around everybody, and say, Lord, forgive me. You can go, you you, you can say it in, in, in your time, or wherever you are, say, Lord, forgive me. I know I shouldn't have said that. Amen? Forgive me for talking about that person. I think sometimes when God sees that, that we can, we've got enough God in us that we can admit when we're wrong. He say, I got, I, I got enough compassion about God that I know God just heard what I said. God can bring you under, under a, 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 a period in our life that, that you want to repent right then. Amen. He can bring a, a, a repentant spirit over you. At the time you did it, right after. See, that's somebody trying to live right. Amen. Lord, help me. He said, how many times have people fallen from grace? How many times have we did wrong? You didn't have you you didn't have nobody hover over your over your shoulder said and said you did wrong. But guess what? Your conscience bothers you. That 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 that, that, that hidden man in your heart, that God man that 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 hides in your heart and you carry God in your heart and and, and right away he said, Lord help me. I just said something wrong about my brother. I just said something wrong about my sister. Lord help me. Lord, I know I did wrong, but Lord forgive me. I may mean, not can find them at the time. And sometimes uh, uh uh people I've heard people say this and they will come and and they would say, uh, 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 I just got to talk about you, will you forgive me? And, and then they'll walk up and say, will you forgive me? I said, what? What am I forgiving you for? I just got to talk about you, will you forgive me, man? I'm wrong, I was wrong. When you can do things, when you fall in a, in a, in a zone of a, uh, you want to repent. Don't think the devil wants you to repent. He'll do everything to, to, to try to talk you out of, uh, 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 repentant heart. He don't want you to do what is right. He don't. He wants you to do what is wrong. But when you find yourself you doing wrong and you know that Lord I need you to help me. When you find yourself uh, 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 just want to talk about people. God is king. People bring you all kinds of his say God. You need to let them know I'm not going to be nobody's God is king. I just got to through asking God for forgiveness. Lord, give me power to tell those ones that are talking about people. I don't want to be your garbage can. That's still my brother. That's still your brother. I don't, I don't, I don't 
going on, sometimes when you get in the road, Satan loves it. When we, when, we, when we come to church, we come to church on Thursday, Friday, and, and, and we give God so much service. And then after we go home, we pick up the phone and somebody call. Y'all don't hear me. And they bring up somebody that you know that's in church. But then you hear about such and such. It's all in the news. You need to tell them, I don't want to hear it. But the Bible said in Galatians 6 and 1, the Bible said if your brother, um, your brother be overtaken, if a man, it said pointing out, if your brother, if a brother, a man be overtaken in a fault, whoo, you, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one. You that are talking about them that's supposed to be spiritual, consider it could have been you. Amen. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Amen. Least thou also be tempted. Amen. You've been tempted to do wrong. How many times we've been tempted? Yeah. And we did wrong. Uh huh. Didn't nobody know about it. That's it. When the prosecutor wasn't there, the attorney wasn't there, you got away with it. God let you slide. Amen. Did nobody? Sometimes I, I heard a preacher say, "You know, in your wrong, God still didn't let you get caught." Amen. In your wrong, He still covered us. Amen. Sometimes we don't understand. It. Sometimes we feel like God just covered us, and but He still. I say, I'm gonna still cover you. He is God, God of a second chance, a God of a third chance. He still covers us in our wrong. He gives us another chance to repent. In other words, the devil made a fool out you. You did something that you weren't pleased about. You said, Lord, give me another chance. And you did it, and, but God said, just don't do it no more. When he told the woman, and, and, and he told us, when the, when, the, when the scribes and Pharisees brought that woman that was caught in adultery, God said to this woman, after every one of them dropped the stones, and God put them on the spot, ye without sin, cast the first stone. And all of them dropped the stone because they had did so much wrong. And God I told this woman, where are your accusers? Where are the ones that brought you here and accused you of doing wrong? And the woman said, no man, Lord, accused me of doing wrong. And Jesus said, neither do I. Go and sin no more. I tell you, when we done wrong, we got to look back. We got to look back. Every time we want to criticize somebody, look back. In your closet, man, good God Almighty, I did wrong so many times before you point your finger at anybody. Look back in your closet, man, there's so many wrongs. There's a list of things that you don't know, but the Bible said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all have done wrong and come short of His grace, of His mercy. God Almighty. We can't talk about nobody. Hmm? We can't. Yeah. We can't talk about nobody. I don't care if they got it all on the news, all on the internet, and that don't give you no right to repeat it. Good God Almighty. It don't give you no right. It do not give you the validation to spread gossip or rumor. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's proven to be true. It still don't give you the God-given right to spread. If anything, you should go to him. Amen? You should go to that person. If you're close around him, go to him in the spirit of meekness. Amen? Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. Brethren, if anyone... King James, King James Version did it real good, but every day Bible did it like this. Brother, if anyone in your group might do anything wrong, might do anything, anybody in your group might do anything wrong, amen? You who are spiritual should go to him and help him. Help him. Thank the Lord. You which are spiritual should go to him and help him. Help him. And make him right. Help him and make him right again. That's what everyday Bible says. Help him and make him right again. Mm-hmm. In other words, don't go to him telling him what he done wrong. Don't go to him pointing it out. Don't go to him saying what he did wrong. Right. 
Então, 